bring in now Jared Fishman. He's a former federal prosecutor and the founder and executive director of Justice Innovation Lab. Uh, Jared, so nice to have you this morning. Um, these text messages, just the sheer volume at them, of them, seem to be aimed at showing not only are these guys racist, not only do they hate black people, but they actually wanted them dead. They were specific in, in those messages, and the vig vigilantism really comes through. Yeah, the language that we see in these texts are extreme. They show racist ideology. They show a strong um, dehumanization of African-American people. The challenge for the prosecution will be taking these texts, which are outside the context of the Arbery killing itself, and showing how that particular killing was motivated by race. So how do you make that connection? Because it, it, it's notable. Some of the me messages are, in, are sent in the days leading up to the killing, but at least the ones that they've introduced so far to the jury, they don't actually mention Arbery's name. So how do you make that, how do you make that link in the minds of the jury? Well, I think what's helpful about these texts is it shows how the defendants processed uh, and, and thought about black people. They dehumanized them. They saw them as criminals. Um, and that was the mindset with which the defendants approached Ahmed Arbery that day. And so when they had those preconceived notions about what he was doing and what he was up to, uh, and it was grounded in race and then grounded in that racial hatred, that's what the government's going to try to show um, motivated the killing. Now, Jared, prosecutors haven't introduced evidence yet that the man who actually filmed the killing, Roddy Bryant, who was convicted in the state trial and is on trial here, they haven't introduced evidence that he actually expressed a desire to hurt black people in the same way as Travis McMichael, the actual shooter. But he's very angry about his daughter's black boyfriend. Is that enough? It depends how the jury views have the stronger the link between us and this the government can prove through text messages or, or other evidence. It's going to be for a jury to find that it was a fashionably motivated king. Uh, more that you are relying on uh, related but not directly, um, directly related. All right, Jared Fishman, former federal prosecutor. Thank you so much, Jared. See you back soon.